Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about responsive methods. Uh, how do you can understand my English, so sorry. Well, did you know that images account for more than 60% of the bytes on average needed to load a web page? Uh, so, our images can make our site load really slow or not. This is really important for us. So, uh, I'm going to uh, divide this in two sections. The first one is to explain about the picture element. What's the picture element? The picture element is a markup uh, pattern that allows developers to declare multiple sources for an image. Uh, by using media queries, it gives developer control as to when and if those images are presented to the user. So, we have here an example. Uh, we have a picture call and then we have two sources. So when we use uh, the big or when we use the small picture, depending of the width or our screen uh, when it's loaded. Okay, I'm going to show you this example with a quick demo later. And the other one is the SRC sets and uh, size attributes. Uh, the SRC sets and size attributes extend the EMG and source elements to provide a list of available image sources and their sizes. Uh, so browsers can then use this information to pick the best image source. This is a quick, uh, this is a quick example. Uh, so we have our uh, source of a small uh, picture and then we have a SRC set. In, in our set we have our uh, three uh, pictures that we could call our large depending on the width, the medium and the small one. Inside of the uh, declaration we can put our three kinds of picture. So uh, the last part, here we have the sizes. So we have the moon width and we can declare when it's going to be called our small uh, small picture. I'm going to show a quick example of these two declarations. Uh, so to work with this, I'm going to show them these quick demos. Uh, I found this really useful, these responsive images that are, uh, is, it was for me, a good thing to learn about this. The first demo, so let me charge it. Uh, okay. We have our source media and we have our different uh, with max width of the screen and we are going to be loading the different size of the picture when our screen is going to be smaller so just if we have our screen medium then we call the second picture and then if it's smaller we have our three sources yeah, so this is uh, one way to use uh, different size of the picture if our uh, screen is make bigger or smaller. Oh, another um, demo that we find here is this grid system. Okay, this is uh, another way to make this work. Uh, so we have our source here yeah and then we have our src set uh, so what is the width of the picture that we are loading when our uh, screen is going to be big, bigger or smaller so just move here and we are reducing our size picture is going to be smaller and we're just 
you have the difference from the other one that is loading at different pictures. We are just having uh, like a view that doesn't load again. And the other demo is this one, the art direction. I found this really interesting. So in in the models, we load a, an image. Or sometimes it doesn't look uh, really good if it's a small screen. So well, we have our source. And what happened if this is going to make smaller, it just load horizontally. So make easier to see our picture. Yep. So that's the way we use this uh, source and picture. I hope you I can help with to understand a little bit of this. So thank you very much. Yeah, and have a good night.